you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, nice kick. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, there's that elbow. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Use your defense. Hit that left hand up for me. Nice block. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, nice body kick. Look at him with his hips into that kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Luke. And doing work with the jab. Midway through round one. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Landed that left hook. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Fighter lands a jab. It's those leg kicks that's eating him alive. Nice straight right hand. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Fighter connects there. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Side kick now. 90 seconds to go now. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Lands a strike there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big power shot there. This guy cannot miss 
the head with his strikes. Well timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by Lee. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Perfect execution on that team. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Checks the leg kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Final seconds of round one. That horn sounds oh. means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round here. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Let's get busy with those hands now. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand -up. And he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Back to the jab now. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, head kick lands now. Yep. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Oh, Superman punch. Push kick there to the body. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. All right, so there it is. Yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John. And you could think that he's setting him up to go up top, or honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes you. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Loads up on the right hand and lands. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Oh, nice low kick. 
That left hook was crazy. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh! Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Great timing on that double leg. Nicely done. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. This is where he wants to be. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Give me that wrist control. Let's go. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, right to the mount. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. 20 seconds to go round two. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. <laughs> Pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay down. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Landed that one. It's going to be a short night if you take many of those head kicks. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, oh I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. That punch, no good. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this he, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Nice punch to the head. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. Got it done with a strike and fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. He missed with that jab attempt there. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. 
came of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Solid punch by him there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. Here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Nice loop and punch. 90 seconds to go. Leg kick lands nicely done. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to ban his face. He throws all of himself into that kick. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Sneaky head kick. Oh, right back to the head kick now. Oh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. And blocks the shot there. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other to see. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side right now. It's kind of hard to look at, Daniel. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. I want to see that double jab now. Throws the tee. Big knee lands to the body. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the hole. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. 
Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Lee gets caught with that punch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, there's no denying his toughness, but how much damage to the body can one man take? At some point, the referee's got to get involved, I would think. Well, someone, I mean, this guy's as tough as they come. And his toughness is, is, is really showing right now. But should it really have to? That's the question now. Someone should save this man from himself. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Visibly limping here. Straight punch, that is useful. Oh, roundhouse kick. Nice combination. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landed those nice, beautiful punches. Just touching him with the jab. Such a sneaky head kick he did. Not like the night. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, a big left hand. Let's go. Cut. Oh, elbow landed there. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> so I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Oh, man. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man, Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally, I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Take a seat. Breathe. Listen, that was awesome. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be smart. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Ready now his fight. opponent's walking back to Ready. his corner. Everybody Ready. looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to clinch a lot in the first minute of this round to try and give himself a little bit more time to get back into the fight. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Fighters separate from the clinch now. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. He's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Man, he gets those kicks to the target quickly. Checks that leg kick. Mixing up the target, attacking the body. 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lee's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. That's a great kick landed there. Look at his calf, bro. It looks like somebody poured a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon on his calf and left it there all night. It's all red and it's swelling. He's gonna have some difficulties. Look, it hurts right now, but I would not want to be this guy tomorrow. Get out of there. Let's go. Move those feet. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Establishing the jab here. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, nice body shot. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Now lands a kick to the body. Oh man, another massive kick lands. Oh, great block there. Nice body shot. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. There's that body shot. Oh, lands a nice straight. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Well, you like the thought process to go to the counter. Ultimately, the execution not there. That's a miss. Oh, and the high kick lands. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Well, despite his corner's best intentions, he hasn't made the requisite adjustment. He continues to eat upper leg kicks on that thought. He's got to switch his stance. The problem with switching your stances is everything doesn't work as well on the opposite side. So your mind tells you, get back to where you're good. The reality is, you have got to find a way to stop this guy from landing all of these leg kicks. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buck. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still! the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one?